So they say you can teach a parrot how to be an economist. Just get the parrot to repeat supply and demand. So we'll apply supply and demand to a few puzzles. So for instance, water, you need that to live and it's really cheap. Diamonds, like the one that is around my wife's, uh, my wife's ring finger, are very expensive. And why? Well, it all relates to supply and demand, in particular to supply here. Here in Pennsylvania, there's plenty of water. So water is really cheap, but diamonds are really scarce. So at the margin, the value of using water is really low, almost zero. At the margin, I guess I could take a shower for 10 less seconds this morning. Not a big deal. But diamonds at the margin are very valuable. We can talk about why people like diamonds and why they're valuable, but it's clear they are valuable as tokens of engagement. Similarly, we can talk about people we see on TV uh, versus your elementary school teacher. So who gets paid more? Your fourth grade teacher or a very large seven-footer who runs up and down the basketball court in front of several thousand people in his pajamas playing three minutes a night? Well, your fourth grade teacher, I don't know, might get forty, forty-five thousand dollars a year. This giant behemoth, maybe three million dollars a year. Who's worth more to society? Well, on average, couldn't get along without fourth grade teachers. But at the margin, which determines how people are compensated, our seven footer is much more valuable. Because, as any basketball coach will tell you, you can't coach height. I'm not talking about Shaquille O'Neal. I'm talking about the third center on any NBA team who only play three minutes a night. And my favorite, and hopefully you have film of him, is Chris Dudley from Yale, where I went to graduate school. And I watched Chris play in uh, graduate school, and he was pretty good in the Ivy League, and he played in the NBA for about 15 years, and made about $35 million. I don't know what Chris did with it all, but he's gonna, he made a lot more money than I ever will. So just like Ari Fleischer should be sending you back some love, I think. Well, Chris doesn't owe me anything, but Ari, Ari, I'm waiting for you, buddy.